Madam Speaker, let me first stand here and say that the good chair of the Labor Committee certainly fielded a lot of questions today. And we understand that none of us know every answer to every question. But as evidenced by what happened here last week, I think it's even more important than ever to really take seriously the idea that we all need to work together. That doesn't mean we agree on everything. But unless we take these issues head on as a group, we're not doing them justice. Is wage equity an important issue? Of course it is. Is it real? No question. It is so real, though, that it deserves a real solution. As the only woman leader in this building, I am not only proud to lead the caucus, but I am proud to have a different perspective than the other leaders. I have actually, as have I'm sure most women in this chamber, actually experienced gender inequity, actually experienced gender discrimination. Know how it feels in your soul. So to imply that anyone, particularly a woman based on what party we belong to, doesn't take this seriously, does this whole chamber a disservice. And I know how seriously everyone in this chamber takes this job. I know that in my soul. We want to protect women from this problem. We want to defend them. We want to promote them. We want it to be fair. That's all anybody's asking for. So I thank the good chairman for mentioning that she would like to have this be a bipartisan issue and a bipartisan solution. I spoke with the speaker and the majority leader, and we had conversations today about how this shouldn't happen again. How by working together, we could acknowledge a real problem but unless we have a real solution, every woman in this chamber, every woman in this state, and every woman in this country will be done a major and grave disservice. Thank you, Madam Speaker.